Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Boy, do I have a fun video for you guys today. It is cloudy outside. It's actually drizzling a little bit right now and I am in the mood for some fall makeup. So we're gonna create a fall makeup look. This makeup look, obviously, why do I always feel the need to explain that to you guys? Using some of my favorite products for the fall. So it should be a lot of fun. I love how this makeup look turned out. Before we get started on the makeup, I wanna welcome any of you that are new here. Thank you for joining me today. I hope that you will consider subscribing to my channel before you leave. Also hit that notification bell so that you can know every time I upload a new video and with all of that said we have some really good makeup to put on today so let's get to it okay so let's get some makeup on I want to start with a primer I thought about using my say glowy super gel but I am having some kind of like skin issues today a little bit of texture on my skin more than usual so let's go with something else a little less glowy let's take my flower beauty priming whip oh I just realized I forgot to put sunscreen on I was thinking about using my NARS light reflecting today, but I don't know that this one has SPF in it. You know what, instead, let's go with my L'Oreal Radiant Serum Foundation. That one I know has SPF 50. I don't have plans to go outside today. It's also not very sunny today, so I should be okay with just my sunscreen from my foundation, but typically I do put sunscreen on every single day, all year long. So I'm taking my L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation in the shade 40, Natural Buff. I'm gonna apply this one with a sponge today. It's my Wet n Wild sponge. This foundation right now is the perfect shade match for me. So I don't have to add anything to it, which doesn't happen very often. I feel like I always have to make some minor adjustment to get my shade a little bit lighter, a little bit darker to match me depending on the day. Oh man, this little bump right here has been driving me nuts lately. I can't leave it alone. It shows up when I put highlighter on and kind of puts me in a bad mood. So I keep trying to like extract whatever is in that clogged pore and it keeps getting kind of inflamed. I need to just leave it alone. I'm gonna be left with a scar there. I'm messing with my face a lot more than normal. I usually don't struggle with, like that's not usually a temptation for me. It must be stress. World is like falling apart all around us, <laughs> no matter where you live. By the way, just take a look at these beautiful highlights. I just got my hair officially done. I talked about this in another video, but I'm not sure which video is going up first, but in case I didn't already mention it. Oh, I'm so happy with it. So sad that I can't keep those highlights longer because my hair grows in really fast and it's pretty gray up around this area here. So I have to start touching it up really quickly and then all that beautiful blonde just disappears. Oh. What are you gonna do? Enjoy it while it lasts. Let's add a little bit of powder. So I'm gonna try something a little different today. I have this right here. This is the Honest Beauty Midnight Reflection Luminizing Glow Powder. I tried this out in one of your recommendations as a very natural highlighter. I wanna try applying it as like a powder today just to the center of my face. Wait, pause. We still have concealer to put on. I'm gonna take my NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. I like this concealer when I first put it on. It just doesn't look very good under my eyes later on in the day. Just too bad because it does look really good when I first apply it. By the way, I use the shade Vanilla. I use the shade Vanilla, pretty good match for me. It's actually a beautiful fall drizzly day outside today. I have my window open. I don't know that it's raining anymore. When I started filming this video, I could hear the light rain coming down. Oh my gosh, guys, it's just giving me the best fall feels. We've had cool weather in the mornings, at least for the last week or so. And today we woke up, it was a little bit drizzly. I am just so in the mood for fall right now. Hence this makeup look today. Okay, now let's go in with some powder. We're gonna take my Honest Beauty Midnight Reflection Luminizing Glow Powder. This was a recommendation from one of you as a natural highlight. I tried it out and I didn't quite like it as a highlighter alone. It's very, very, very natural. So I'm gonna try it today as kind of like, almost like as a setting powder, just in the center of my face. So right here, center of my forehead, between my brows. Hopefully it's not too glowy, add a little bit. Add a little bit here where I have these kind of spots that need to be concealed. Before I set my eyelids down, let's just put a little bit of eye primer on. I'm gonna take my Alter Ego eye primer today. Just a tiny bit. And then I'll pop some powder on top. Now back to the Honest Beauty powder. Right onto my lids. Now for some bronzer. Let's take my Flower Beauty Heat Wave bronzer. This one is in the shade Sunrise L1. I'm loving this bronzer right now. Mm. Mm 
Now for some highlighter, I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier highlighter in the shade Highlight 01. Let's take my Sydney Grace highlighter brush. I think this is just the small powder brush. And apply that right on top of that bump right there. Ah, oh, look at that thing. Much bigger than it was when I started. When will I learn to leave it alone? I'll put some eyeliner on it and pretend it's a beauty mark. I could do that with a couple spots on my face. Okay, let's move into some brows. I'm gonna take a little bit of my e.l.f. wax brow pencil. Just comb that through. Take my Ulta Beauty brow pencil. This one's actually been pretty neglected lately. It is one of my favorites still. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this, just the Clear Brow Gel from ABH. Try and fan those off so they'll dry a little bit quicker before my brows fall down. All right, let's move into the eyeshadow. I wanna hold off on the blush till after the lip is completed. What better palette for fall than the Pumpkin Spice palette? I have just the original Pumpkin Spice. I know they have a new one, the Pumpkin Spice, Pumpkin Spice Second Slice or Another Slice or something that's just recently out. I contemplated getting that palette for about 10 seconds and I realized I don't use this palette alone nearly enough. And after looking at this one, compared to that one, there were some similarities in the two palettes. I'm sure they aren't exactly the same, but I just really didn't feel like I needed it. So we're gonna use this one today. Let's see. So I am gonna be doing a red lip today. Ooh, I kind of want to do something slightly warm and kind of like bronzy or kind of mustardy maybe on the eyes, but I don't want to do anything too colorful either. So let's just have a little swatch right here. Hmm. I think it's gonna be too green. Let's go with the gold. I know gold and red is kind of like, I feel like it's a little bit cliche or maybe even Christmassy, but we're gonna try it out. Let's throw a little bit of this peach into the crease first. This is the shade fall for it. I'm taking that on my Sydney Grace large blender. I don't know what brush this is. It's in her eye set. It's the blending brush, like the biggest, longest, fattest blending brush. I feel like I'm kind of sweating right now, you guys, because the window's open, so it's a little bit muggy in here. It does not get muggy in Utah very often. It's making me like sweat a little bit, and this shirt is really, really thick and tight. It feels kind of like a straight jacket, actually. It's super cute. I know it's black, so you can't really see the details, but it's like a structured, kind of like tight-fitting, super thick, uncomfortable <laughs> shirt. Oh, I love the shoulder detail on it though. It has this little pleat on the shoulders that's super cute. I just felt like dressing up a little bit today. Now I'm just regretting it because the sides of my nose are starting to sweat a little bit. Let's take that same shade on the lower lash line. I'm gonna take this very small fluffy blending brush and run this right under the lower lash line about halfway in. Now I wanna build up a little bit of warmth in the outer corner. Let's take this brown right here. This is the shade Spice Spice Baby. Dun, 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 dun. Will it ever stop? Yo, I don't know. So I formerly had the Jurassic Park song in my head, like the score from Jurassic Park. Do you guys ever get musical scores in your head that don't have words? I feel like that's kind of weird, but it happens to me a lot. I actually like the Jurassic Park score. Who doesn't love that? John Williams. Anyways, now I've replaced it with vanilla ice. <laughs> Give yourself a gold star down below in the comments section if you know all of the words by heart to vanilla ice's ice ice baby. I don't think I could give myself that. I know a lot of the words, but there are some holes. My husband could do it for sure. He could do that song. He could do regulators. That's another good one. Oh my gosh. We're going way back here. All my Gen X friends out there. So I want this to be really warm, but I don't want it to be too dark. So I'm just kind of layering this shade up in that outer corner. Tempted to dip into some of these shades. These are some of my favorite shades in this palette, but I just think they're gonna be a little bit too dark. So we're gonna stick with Spice Spice Baby. All right, let's jump over to this beautiful kind of greenish gold, very metallic shimmer shade, Fall Vibes. Ah, oh, what a perfect shade name for today. Didn't even do that on purpose. This one is a little bit on the green side. I don't wanna go too heavy with this. So I'm actually gonna kind of tap some of it off on the back of my hand and just build it up a little bit. Normally I will go full on foil with this, but I don't want it to be too, too intense today. Most of the focus to be on my lips. I feel like mine is not scented as strong. Like it's losing its scent. 
I still occasionally pull out my chocolate, my chocolate bar, original milk chocolate bar palette. That thing, they really heavily scented that thing, which I love. I feel like they've kind of lightened up the scent a little bit on their products and which is probably why I've not totally lost interest in Too Faced, but I've just not been as wild about Too Faced lately because that's what sold me before was the scents. Okay, let's add a little pop to the inner corner. We're gonna take this shade in the top corner, the shade Whipped Cream. This one's pretty much matte, but that's okay. I actually kind of like the idea of going with a matte on the inner corner. I'm gonna take this little blending brush again, pop that right on that inner tear duct. Let's add a little bit of liner. I'm gonna take this one right here. This is from Persona. This is their liner in the shade Brown. This is a more gel-like liner. I'm gonna add a little bit to my waterline. And let's do a little bit of a wing with this as well. Before that dries down, we're gonna take a angled brush. Got this one from Sydney Grace. And we're gonna dip into this dark brown right here and throw that right on top of that gel liner or that pencil liner. Okay, same on the other side, just a little wing. And then we'll take that same dark brown Okay, now I'm gonna go back to my sponge and just tap that outer corner just to make sure it's nice and clean. Next, I'm gonna throw on a couple coats of my It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. Then I will be back with you guys and we will do the lips and finish off with the cheeks and be done. Okay, eyes are finished. Let's move on to the lips. So today I really wanna do a red lip and I think I wanna do a glossy red lip. So we're gonna use Persona's Holy Grail today. It's just a good classic red. So I'm actually gonna wipe off that little bit of balm that I have left on there. We're just gonna start with the applicator. Kind of just use the tip to go around the perimeter of my lips and I'll slightly try to like overline just a little bit. This is one of the things I love about a red lip. You can really fudge the shape and like size of your lips with a liquid red lipstick. So I like to take my time really like evening out the shape of the both sides. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry down for a sec. Now let's add a bit of gloss. Let's take, ooh, let's see, which gloss should I use? Actually, let's do this one right here. This is the Milani Keep It Full Lip Gloss. This one's in the shade Luminoso. It's basically like a peachy, but it's pretty sheer. I think this should probably work. It has a little bit of shine or sparkle in it, but it's more of like a gold sparkle. So I'm gonna use a lip brush to apply this. I just wanna keep that in the center. I don't want it too close to the edge because I wanna keep that edge nice and sharp because the lip gloss will kind of break down the liquid lipstick just a little bit. And there are the finished lips. That is so, so pretty. Let's add a little bit of blush. I could probably do without it, but I just wanna add just a tiny bit of color to my cheek. So I'm going back and forth between these two right here. This is Teddy from Persona, which I feel like will kind of tie the eyes to the lips. But I also love this blush for the fall. This is the Cheek Dew in the shade Hot Fuss, one of my favorites. Let me give this a little swatch on the back of my hand. I just wanna make sure this isn't gonna clash with things. Ooh, I feel like I can do either of those. Obviously it's not gonna be this bright. You know what, let's do something crazy and do both of them. So I have my little brush here. This is the number four from Alter Ego. I'm gonna start building up the persona into the brush, just really working it in. And then we're gonna work in Hot Fuss as well. And then I'm just very lightly gonna go back and forth, kind of high up on the apples. All right, and here's the completed makeup look. I love how this one turned out. You cannot beat a glossy red lip in the fall or just a red lip in general. I feel like it's been a while since I've done like a deeper red lip like this. It's just so classy, I love it. I feel like everything else came together really well. Love this eye look. I'm definitely gonna be reaching for this palette this fall. I actually didn't use it a ton last year. I think I got, did I get this last year? I think I got this last year, honestly, you guys. Time is just like a 
it's a blur. But when I first got this, I didn't use it a ton and it kind of started to grow on me later on when like the fall season had passed by me. So I feel like I missed out on enjoying the scent of this during the fall season, but it is a really good palette. So I'm going to keep playing with this. Speaking of fall palettes, I will be posting very soon a top recommendations or my top favorite fall eyeshadow palettes coming up very soon. So keep an eye out for that. I love eyeshadow palettes all year long, but there's something extra exciting about them in the fall. Oh, I have so many good ones. I can't wait to share with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I hope you guys are all doing well. Let me give you one last reminder. If you have not yet subscribed here at my channel, please do that before you leave. And I will see all of you guys in my next video. Bye. This is actually how I do it when the camera's not running. I do this and then this. It works. Stop. Collaborate and listen. Oh, shoot, I, I miss a lot. I'm missing a lot of words. Something grabs a hold of me tightly, flow like a something daily and nightly. Will it ever stop? Yo, I don't know. Turn off the lights and I glow. To be extreme, like a like candle, light stage, like a candle dance. Melody. <laughs> Deadly. Okay, lots of holes.